All right, today we're going to talk about something that has got people clutching their Apple Watches in terror. And that is, the GLP-1 medications can increase your heart rate. Yep, it's true. If you're currently on Ozempic, Wagovi, Zepbound, or Margero, and you suddenly notice that your heart's got a little extra pep in its step, congrats, you're not alone. But before you panic and start drafting up your farewells, let's break down why this is happening, whether you need to panic about it, and spoiler alert, why your heart is not betraying you. Oh, and if you're into science-backed, no BS breakdowns of weight loss medications, then you need to smash that subscribe button and keep following along. So let's talk about why some people get a little bump in their heart rate when taking a GLP-1 medication. First off, yes, it is definitely real, but it doesn't mean that your heart is staging a rebellion. Studies show that these medications can increase your resting heart rate by about two to five beats per minute. And so, here's what's happening under the hood. And hey, are you ready to take control of your health and create a lasting change? Then you need to sign up for My Empowerment Hub. This is a supportive community with expert guidance, live check-ins, challenges, and a ton of premium resources that can help you to manage your weight and your health. And the best part is, you can come and check it out completely for free for the first seven days. That's right, you can get access to all of the resources, all of the articles, and all of the content that I have created completely for free for the first seven days. And heck, you can even take it with you if the hub ain't working for you. Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub is more than just weight loss. It is about helping you to create confidence and to feel empowered on your weight management journey. So head down below to the description and click that link today to come and check it out. When it comes to these medications and their effects on our heart rate, there's a a couple of different ways that it's happening. Number one, the GLP-1 medications act directly on the heart. You see, your heart's pacemaker, the sinoatrial node, actually has GLP-1 receptors. And when these medications bind to those GLP-1 receptors, it dials up the sympathetic activity of your heart, aka your body's gas pedal or fight or flight response. This leads to a little bit of norepinephrine being released, which can nudge up your heart rate. Secondly, as we work with these medications more and more, we're finding that they may actually slightly increase your metabolic rate. This in turn is going to alter heart function and potentially increase heart rate. Thirdly, one of the main effects of these medications is up in our brain, particularly in the hindbrain or brain stem, as well as our hypothalamus, both of which control appetite, hormones, as well as autonomic function. And GLP-1 receptor activation here can again ramp up that sympathetic response, that fight or flight type system, and give your heart a little extra push. But is this increase in heart rate, is it dangerous? The short answer for most people is no. For the average person taking these medications, that slight increase and heart rate is about as concerning as adding an extra espresso shot to your coffee in the morning. But if you already have an arrhythmia or an irregular heart rate or maybe uncontrolled hypertension or heart failure, then we definitely want to check with your doctor first. And if you take these medications and suddenly your resting heart rate is in hummingbird mode and beating at 90 plus beats per minute, well, this is the time when you tap out of YouTube and you go and call your doctor. Did you know that keeping your Wagovi or Zepbound pens at the right temperature while you're traveling isn't just optional, it's essential. And that's where the For All Families Medicine Portable Coolers come in. Their Voyager model can handle multiple pens and it can keep your meds cool continuously either via USB power or with a biogel pack. Their Medium Nomad is a little bit smaller, but it can keep your meds cool for 28 to 30 hours when you keep it there with a nice gel pack. And that one's gonna be perfect for those weekend getaways. And because you're one of my amazing viewers, you can use my discount code DANB10 at check out and get 10% off your order at forallfamily.com. Link and everything else that you need to know is down below in the description. Check it out, click it, order your cooler today so that you don't risk your meds and can travel with peace of mind. Now, what about exercise? This is definitely something that people get confused about because if your heart rate's already going up slightly, well, exercise is going to make it go even higher. So is that a problem or not? And a quick reality check for you, it's still okay to exercise even if your heart rate is two to four beats per minute higher. Over time, your cardiovascular system is going to adapt and your heart rate's actually gonna come down to its normal level eventually. And as a quick pro tip, if you have one of those fitness watches or bands or what have you, 
track your heart rate for a couple of weeks, see what the trend is currently going on, and if it keeps going up and up as high as your toxic X emotional baggage, well, you probably need to talk to your doctor. But if you're noticing a slight increase in your heart rate, maybe you're a little bit concerned about it, there is a couple of things that you can do to manage it. Number one is making sure that you're hydrated. When you're dehydrated, your heart has to work harder to pump that blood around because there's just less fluid in the pipes. Monitor your resting heart rate. If it keeps going up week after week after week, don't just ignore it, definitely get it checked out. Please don't ditch exercise. Moving your body actually helps to regulate your heart rate over time. And finally, if you're getting any kinds of symptoms like lightheadedness, dizziness, chest pain, or it feels like your heart is auditioning for a drum solo, you definitely need to follow up with your doctor. So we've covered the basics around GLP-1 medications and the increases in heart rate that can happen. But if you want a more detailed breakdown on the science and physiology as to why that heart rate is going up and how to even better manage it, then you need to sign up to become an OG member of my YouTube channel or check out Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub. Overall, when it comes to the GLP-1 meds and heart rate, these are the big things you need to take away. Yes, the GLP-1 medications can increase heart rate, but for a majority of people, it is not a problem or a concern. If you have pre-existing heart issues, please get checked out by your doctor first and then go looking at the medications. And for the love of science, please do not let influencers tell you that this means the medications are toxic. The GLP-1 medications have actually been shown to reduce the risk of heart attacks and strokes in the long term in individuals that have obesity and diabetes. So for most people, we aren't concerned. In fact, we're actually probably getting a benefit. So I want you to keep calm and carry on. Now, I wanna hear from you. Have you noticed a change in your heart rate since starting a GLP-1 medication? Drop a comment down below and let's chat about it. Okay, that is it and that is all my friends. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Also, be sure to check out Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub, your go-to resource for evidence-based knowledge, personalized check-ins with me, as well as various challenges and an extremely supportive community of other people that just get it. And the best part is, your first week is free to join. All the links and everything that you need are down below in the description go and check it out and follow me on my various social media channels. And finally, please remember that it is the small tweaks that lead to massive peaks.